Hi, this is Steve at Greenfuel H2O. I've got a new project coming up. I've had a 31 plate generator on my 05 Dodge Ram for about two years now, and I currently get driving around town, the driving that I do, about 19 miles to the gallon, which is uh, about 15% more than uh, the stock truck. What I want to do in this project is I want to increase the HHO production and be able to max it out somewhere around 20 liters a minute and then be able to go down to 1-2 liters per minute and experiment if and see if I can double my mileage. So with this project I want to my goal is to double my mileage and I don't know if that would be possible unless I have a max out, max output of HHO and the right equipment. So what I've got here is this is the 144 plate generator that has been in my last few videos um, I'm going to run two of these, two of these 144 plate generators in this project, and they're going to pull about about a hundred amps each at maximum. They'll probably uh, would would probably be able to put more into them, but that's where I feel comfortable with these cells. And for that reason, I got. A, a new alternator. This is a uh, high output 250 amp alternator. And it's got a, a slight underdrive on it. Um, so we're going to install that. That'll give us the power for the project. I've uh, kind of gone overboard on the wire. This is this is a wire. This is actually a 4 aught wire that I'm going to run from the alternator straight into the box that I'll show you in a second. Um, on the PWMs, we're going to take four of these PWMs and each PWM is going to control a side of the generator. So we'll have one, two, three, four parts to the generator so we'll be able to control the amperage and the output so that we can uh, experiment with different amounts of HHO. Got a couple 200 amp relay solenoids. Uh, one solenoid for each 144 plate cell. And of course we've got, we've got this. This is going to act as a dryer. Um, and also going to catch any uh, any moisture or any stray electrolyte that uh, happens to escape from the tank. This here is get a good picture of it. This is a bubbler with a uh, flash port at the top. This is going to scrub out any KOH that may have escaped the uh, the main reservoir tank. This was made by Mike at hhoconnection.com. So if you haven't stopped by uh, his website, please do. He's got a lot of um, how-to videos on HHO and some, some good products there too. So check out Mike. Uh, this is the flash arrestor. This is a high-flow flash arrestor. It's good up to 20, 20 liters per minute. We install on that in the system too. And probably the coolest thing, well I don't know, this stuff's pretty cool. But one of the cooler things on this build is this is a um, this is going to be the the controller. What it is is it's an it's an Apexy, it's a Neo. And one of the it does a lot of things, but one of the main functions of this is it's able to um, uh, cut the fuel going into the injectors and it's able to do that at certain RPM ranges so you might, might uh, be cutting uh, 
you know, maybe 20% below like 1,000 RPMs and maybe above 15 RPMs you want to go 15% above that maybe you want to cut you know less or more and you've got uh, I think it's up to 8 RPM ranges that you can set the uh, fuel delivery it also has some other neat functions that uh, I'll show you in some later videos but this is the equipment and I got one more thing uh, the tank I want to show you the tank So go out of the shop here That's the truck, Dodge Ram. It's got a 5.7 Hemi. I've got the alternator there, which we'll be changing. This is uh, this has a system on it. Um, there's a solenoid and a circuit breaker and tank up front here. And there's the 31 plate cell down below. Uh, let me show you the. This truck also has a Volo on it. This is the tank. And it is big. Well, that's my hand. That's This is a 12 gallon tank. And it's going to fit into this weather guard box. It's uh, about four feet wide. And we're, I'm going to go ahead and clean that up and give it a nice coat of paint but we'll have the tank in here and we'll have a 144 plate generator on either side and we'll have all the equipment mounted up against the back and uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to uh, uh, put remotes on the uh, PWMs so I'll have a box up here in the, in the cab where I'll be able to see the amperage on each PWM and I'll be able to control it, control it the uh, duty cycle so that that box is going to fit up here in the front up here in the front kind of in this area and then I'll have this uh, it'll be mounted there and I'll have this this lid here that'll come down and conceal it all. So this truck has 71,000 miles on it. It's an 05. I think it's going to be an exciting project. This is uh, the first video. Um, I don't know how many parts it's going to be, but uh, what we'll do is we'll go through the installation of everything, and then after that we'll do some baseline mileage tests, and then we'll flip on the HHO and we'll do some different mileage tests with different amount of amounts of HHO and um, the uh, Apexi fuel controller with different amounts of leaning. So it should be an exciting project. Um, if you haven't subscribed to me yet, please do. I have uh, many videos on HHO and more exciting things to come with the experimentation. So everyone uh, stay tuned and thanks for watching.